This month's Tastemaker segment features the Long Table Beer Cafe. It opened in Middleton late last year. The owners wanted to create a laid-back restaurant where patrons could share food and beer in a fun atmosphere. Glenn Madison Magazine's Andrea Bailing went there to find out if they succeeded. Can we first talk about what we have on the table here? Of course. So first we have a, um, what would be representative of a small meat board and a small cheese board. What kind of meats do you have of on Of course, here? yeah. So first we'll start with the meats, the kind of little rosettes there. You see our uh, speck prosciutto, which is smoked prosciutto from uh, La Quercia out of uh, Norwalk, Iowa. Okay. Um, and then we have uh, a pig and fig terrine uh, just right here, which is from Smoking Goose out of Indianapolis. Um, really kind of bright flavors, um, really kind of nice uh, porkiness as, as well as that fig kind of sweetness. So it really helps kind of contrast each other quite a bit there. Um, and then closest to you, we have some salsa sone sec from Olympia Provisions. They are out of Portland, Oregon. It's a very uh, classic take on uh, classic uh, French sausage there. Cool. And a big board meant to share with a, with a group? Correct. Right? Correct. Yeah. The, one of the main things when we first came up with the idea was the communal aspects of the communal tables, obviously, but also the communal style eating, kind of more like when you have friends over to your house and you put out platters and everybody brings a side dish and you, you know, you all pick and choose what you want to eat. These are two of your guys' side dishes, is that right? Yep. What is These this here? are goat cheese puffs, which is a specialty of Josh here. Yeah, you should eat one while they're still hot. And then frites is the one thing we brought from Brasserie V to here that we we're doing the same way we do there. So they're... And Fancy fries, right? Sh shortest, shortest explanation is they're fried twice at two different temperatures at two different times. Mm. What's yeah. this over here? So that is the brisket. Uh, we do smoke that in-house with a uh, nice coffee rub. Uh, the coffee is our Barrique's house blend that we uh, crafted uh, together with them. Oh, cool. Uh, during a like tasting. a collaboration with Barrique's? Exactly, yeah. So we have that on a um, Madison sourdough bun um, and then some nice jardinara on top. So how did this idea uh, come, come to be? For Long sure. Table. Well, it came the idea of uh, obviously at Brush Review, we are very into beer over there, uh, especially European and Belgian beer. But um, beers, along with enjoying having the restaurant do that, is kind of a hobby with myself and a lot, a lot of people that were you. Beyond that was just that idea of doing kind of a bottle shop slash cheese and charcuterie place. So, but in the end, I think it's more and more, I think of kind of like this picnic food, I guess, in a way. You know, just backyard barbecue or or shareable, you know, meat and cheese plates, or we do things like uh, smoked trout and roasted duck salad and things like that you would bring to, you know, a gathering if you're going to have a picnic in your backyard or... Well, beer and cheese, you've hit two major food categories for, <laughs> for Wisconsin, so... Can't go wrong there. Right. Well, thank you so much for, for letting us come in today. It was good to sure. meet you both. Yeah, sounds good. Thanks. Thank you. Boy, it all looks delicious, yeah. doesn't it? And Andy Bailing is with us now. Hi, Andy. Hi. Were you sitting at the long table? No, that one was actually right behind them. Oh, it's okay. actually 23 feet long, um, and it was made from one piece of wood. Oh, that's so They have a whole bunch of those in there, though, right? They so you, do. You bring a whole group in there. And I love the concept of the, the kind of picnic. You can have your too. cold beer and you can have everybody try a lot of these different yeah. dishes. Yeah, go up to the, the wall of beer, pick your own beer that you want, go up and order your food, and it's super casual. Just go mm -hmm. back to the table and share a charcuterie board with your with your big group. And it's going to be even better in the summertime, right? Yes, they have a, a number of gr kind of garage door type of, um, you know, on the on the sides that'll open up to patio seating in the summer, so that'll be awesome. And Everything's were, better in the summer, oh, right? Everything, especially <laughs> right now we're done with this weather yes. and they were at brass V on, on monroe street they brought a couple of the elements over from yes there, right? the belgian freak fries those that's one thing mm -hmm. that came over but a lot of the menu is is just for long table and they smoke um their meats some of their meats in house that end up on their sandwiches so when you walk in that you smell it right you smell the, bar <laughs> the barbecue uh smell kind of hits you in the face oh, that's cool great. for people to try yes. very interesting yeah. thank right. you andy and continued okay. success to them as well you yes. can read much more about long table beer cafe in this month's edition of Madison Magazine. And coming up